Hello everyone, my name is Nikoya, and this is Stanley Parable, and we are picking up where we left off in our office. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Yeah, sounds like a good story to me. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So, there's a couple paths I haven't done yet. So I've entered the door on my left a few times. I've entered the door on the right a few times. I think I'm going to try going from the right to the left. Or possibly taking the diversion before I go into the warehouse area. So, not sure which one of those I'm going to do today. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yep. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ah. Hang on, buck 25... Man, I know working at Google spoils me and get free drinks. Yes, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So, actually, the other thing I wanted to try, in fact, let's just go do that. I want to try actually, like, jumping off here to the, like, the actual floor Stanley floor. Stanley so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. And, like, see if I can actually survive that. It is quite a ways down. Kind of annoyed I can't jump. I sort of want to like jump over to somewhere in there. Actually, if I land all these boxes, boxes are soft and safe, right? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Guess Good not. Job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yay! I'm powerful. Um. Right, so that's what happens if you do that, I guess. Now we know. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Sorry, I'm rushing Perhaps a little he bit. he to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, what a lovely lounge. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So I feel like we've pretty much exhausted going through there, so I'm going to try going through here. And so he detoured through the maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Except there's a big, red, delicious, tempting, candy-like button that says down. Let's go. Shall we? Ooh, loading. Fancy. Excuse me, I'll take a sip of milk. to wander about and get even further off track so now in order to get back he needed to go um uh, uh, from here it's um left cool story bro damn ah come on sigh fine i'll go left oh no no it's to the right my mistake <laughs> Uh, okay, predictable things are about to happen in three, two... No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Take another sip of milk. Now, let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Can I actually get out, get out this time? Ooh, looking good. Yay! 
Okay. Oh, I guess if they can get out that side. I was just thinking, like, how would you park this van here and, like, actually get out afterwards? But, I mean, it's a sliding door van. And there's, like, room here. And I guess they would go at the back and then close it. Never mind. I'm going. I'm going. Ooh, hello. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh, okay. Well, that's new. So, let me see. What other endings haven't we got? We haven't, um... Hmm. So we haven't done the main ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. As I say, the main ending, except where we activate the mind control device. So I think that's one of the endings. I think I saw someone else play that one. <clears throat> but we'll give it a try. Went to the door on the left. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. Uh, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No, I'm pretty did sure I didn't. Move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. Is it one of these papers? Come, Stanley. Let's find hmm. the story. Hello. Um. Oh, God. This is a lot of choice. Um, uh, well, those two doors go to the same place. These, hmm. This door looks foreboding. Let's go through here. This is something. Um, that's a lot of open doors. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> Inner guilt. Everyone knows what you did. They're just... This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay. I like that sign, though. Pretty awesome. So. Gonna make it this time? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm -hmm. Looks legit. So far. Yeah. Okay, yep. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction? And see if we missed anything. Okay. This is just getting weirder and weirder. Aha! I knew we'd what? miss something. The story. Here it comes. What in the devil? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and <sighs> retrace our steps. Okay, is it my imagination or is that filing cabinet when you look at it like from this angle looks like it's about to like explode or something? It's like I know it's just like a an optical illusion from the way like the drawers are out on this side and the chairs serve on that side, but it just it seriously looks like it's like about to burst like it's overinflated or something. Uh, oh dear. Oh my. Now this well I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. 
Oh. Yay. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay. That's, um... That's... <sighs> really, game? Really? This is, um... All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Seems legit. Let's give it a try. Uh-oh. I'm off the line. Um, did I break it? Aerator? Uh, is this cool? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, hang on, then. This isn't right at all. Well, I mean, it's, it's right, but it's not correct. See? The line knows where the story <clears throat> is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, nope. here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. I'm very... Very, very confused. It, okay, really? I. See, now you're just being silly. Mm. Yeah, okay. Here, yeah. This. This is getting silly. How the what in the devil is Ooh, hello? How the what? Yay, photocopier! I'm I'm slightly confused. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern, Stanley. This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, so this fern, very green, slightly higher on the left, and it's a Fern. We're good. Wait, we're, we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Um, this is, this is slightly strange. Very, very, oh, really? Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. Line, I am disappointed. 
Very disappointed in you, Lion. Ah, delicious milk. All right, Lion. Don't let us down. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? That is in the wrong direction. All right. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. You can do that. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. How about our story is something other than beige and creepily orange, high traffic, slightly stained carpet? That that would be cool. Not a fan of beige. It doesn't tickle me. And oh no, not you again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. We'll just pretend it's not there. Totally cool with that. Except, of course, we're technically following it. No, no, no. We are forging our own path that happens to be the same path that the line follows. The line is following us in the future. In the past. How does that work? Oh, goodbye, line. Hello then. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Where do you get How round filing cabinets? The opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere I'm such a rebel. In the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds Oh my god, Barris is gonna fall off. Reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Ooh. And since the That's worked up my hand. Yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Yay! Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Okay. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Oh dear. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Just gonna throw this out there. Well, in the meantime... Bit of a boring story. Except for the part where we buzzed and the game restarted again. Okay, so... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I still kind of want to get to the ending where you take over mind control devices. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. That slide, definitely good advice. Ah, you just about closed me in there, game. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28. Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. I think we can get to the ending where I take over the world and become an evil genius. And I'll probably leave it off there because the last ending was really confusing. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Yay! Stanley walked straight ahead through the large Ooh. door of the red mind control facility. And there's an escape ending too. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, the escape ending. Forgot about that one. Damn. Um, I still want to go through the mind control ending and activate the mind control. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Sure do. All right, so that one. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Don don don. Boop. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Seems legit. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. But now it, it would be in my control. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Did I just pass through that beam? That was spent frightening. His entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. I still like this emotion. Not that one. This one. 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Yeah. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Except not really. Because dismantling something this awesome, not my style. Boop. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yeah, After they kept you did. enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the Michelin for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Hells yeah. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? Yay! It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so nope. little time left to enjoy Hang it. On. Mere moments Where's numbers? until the bomb goes off. Three. But what precious moments each one of them Hang is. On. More time to talk Four. about you. Here we go. About me. Where were one. you? What all this means? I barely Two. know where to start. Really? Not doing anything. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Three. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I don't know if this actually works. Machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever. <laughs> Endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Hmm. Watching you try to make no, sense that didn't really do anything. and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put Ooh, some extra on. time on the clock. Why not? Is that? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be mm. doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you, running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button. No way, did that wrong. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have mm. any idea what your purpose in this place is? One, two... <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Mm -hmm. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Okay, sounds good to me. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds mm. until a big boom and then nothing. I say five. What about this big red button? What does this one do? Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. Mm. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable that life seem to do anything the moment good. we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Nope. Apparently that didn't work. Mm, ah, 
Oh, legs are going to sleep. That's no good. Ah. Oh, wow. Remind me not to do that. So, anyways, whatever I did there wasn't the right thing. Or, I don't know. Maybe it was. Hard to tell. It's a weird game. So, with that, I'm going to call it an episode. Remind you to like, comment, fave, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.